why is it that's the aspect of our chancy aspect? Yesterday, uh, that temperature gone. Up oh, now it's only uh, 60 degrees. So that's what I say. The, the the latency of the tank is because of the heavy yeah. metal slow. You got that on 16 by 9. What's that? Okay. Oh, whatever. <coughs> Looks like turning. Right. Uh, but I cannot see if this is a problem with the camera or... It might be. What is going on here? Well, definitely there is now a kind of um, standing wave pattern between the pipe and the analyst. That I've seen with the heat pipes also very often. There is a resonance going on there. There we go. So, but now I can see the chop chop is near, nearly there because the the wire is becomes very thin. Yeah. So any moment a piece uh, might fall off because the the tungsten is being eaten. Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. Here is no activity and here it's eating. So when something happens, you might have this... Uh, that would be nice. Yeah, that would be nice. I don't do it right now yet, but when you're kind of ready, preparing everything, I will put up the Corcroft uh, current. Then the intensity will go up. So I'm gonna see. And when you can. Well, it's not got any um, tufts particularly, although kind of there. No, no tufts at all. Uh, there's some that are kind of appearing. Now they're starting to appear yeah. there. Yeah. But it is again a, a different process. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a, a, a strong plasma relation between the... and very stable actually. There's not moving anything around. So this plasmoid in the, between the pipes down there is very stable now and have an, an, an interesting connection between the anode and I don't know what it is but it is a kind of uh, oscillating mm -hmm. and this is so special that the camera has problems to capture it well it's the flash rate isn't it so yeah, if I, if I come is, off that what, um, what it is, you can see the interference. So how to um, know what kind of interference is going on now? Uh, this picture looks more stable to me now. Yeah, but it's, it's a distance, so... But it's if I reduce the uh, f-stop down, so I'm changing the f-stop so you can see a bit more of what actually what it looks like. Yeah. So this is like, we're talking about f2.8 here. And then as I dial down, this is f4. This is f5. I don't know what I'm seeing actually. It's, it's now absolutely uh, unclear for me. Well, uh, if I change the... Okay, so here, here I've got 
a much longer this is kind of what let's let's do what the eye can see so this is about one sixtieth of a second so this is more like what the eye can see one eightieth is beyond what the eye can see so this is kind of like what the eye can see but if I adjust the f-stop this might be I'm changing a little bit this this is kind of what you see with your eyes maybe a little bit more like that oh it fall off yes it chopped you're right yeah so we caught that at 1080p 60 frames a second and now the, the, the intent now it's it's all about some balls on the uh, thing there but it's dirt it's it's dirt but it has to get rid of first mm -hmm. to get back to the tungsten so now it has to clean so I, I'm very curious where the oh there's a little ball coming in there let me see that outside yeah down you down in the bottom there yeah. Yeah. You can move down and have a look at that it keeps popping in there so little blip keeps blipping in there doesn't it yeah it jumps a little bit front backwards oh hello what's going on there this is the double layer kind of it is and it's spinning isn't it spinning is a so something is being produced now in the gas and so i'm looking down in the crack there what's and then i'm going to go and look at the uh yeah. Well, there is a kind of plasmoid there mm. hanging there where it, everything turns around. Okay, so I'm going to try and change the. Um... Yeah, you have to be quick. It's over before you know, and then you will never see it again. <laughs> oh, you skeptic. No. It's, it's my experience. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Look at that lovely Christmas. And then we go down here. And I cannot see if there's only one turn left now of the wire. It seems to be that there's only one turn left. So well, should we have a look at where the wire was? That's the bit of wire, I right? Think, yeah, I think so. We can focus in on that. And then um, I can change the exposure level. Uh, maybe uh, a bit like uh, this and then we'll have a look a little bit down there uh, yeah that's clear very clear it seems that you can see that's the point yeah 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 on the left top left hand side it's almost a half circle yes it is as we find in fact it's probably a half circle to the point that it isn't tapered So, um, <clears throat> maybe I can just add a little but, but bit more light illumination on that. that. We, see this, we have seen this turning of this plasmoid, uh, this plasma around the anode before this week. Yeah. But it was gone for uh, the, the, the last Look race. Look at that. Now, now it just it appears again. Yeah. I think it needs the, 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 um, the wire to be quite separate, from, like an open spacing. And it was chopped, that was chopped. Yeah, but... It didn't burn its way round, the other side got chopped. It got... Yeah, but... So maybe, I'm interested in this it. sample. Yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> yeah. But I also could see it got thinner. Yeah, yeah. yeah yes. It, had, it has been eaten, so it could be that it's been eaten away and then just fall off. So now it's different than the chop chop yeah. you uh, we have. So now what I'm doing is I'm changing the sample rate. So this is one thirtieth of a second, one fortieth of a second, one fiftieth of a second, one sixtieth of a second, one eightieth of a second, one one hundredth of a second, one one hundred and twenty fifth of a second. Now I'm going to change the f stop here to make this darker. So F11, F14. So you can start to see into the plasma. So I'll change it 
so it's uh, longer exposure. That that flattens it out. It's longer exposure. So if I move and zoom into this, uh, and we go up. And you can now say that there is a, a kind of stable source down at the cathode. There's one plus more there. And this might be burning a hole through that thing. So th this is a fairly stable structure at the top here. Looks like there's some spinning going on. And again, down in the base there, this, as you say, it seems to be stuck there doing some work. And, and being very active so no other processes can go on. Let's go and have a really good close look at that. So we've got a little bit of flashing going on there. Yeah, we see before that he's moving backwards and forwards yeah. between this location and this location. And above and underneath. This definitely looks like it's spinning up here. You can get that kind of impression here. Yeah. But be being able to controllably look around the chamber like this is just, it's really satisfying, I can say. <laughs> With, with such high precision. But the bottom less point is like stable and that one is yep. like, I don't know where to go. But there is still enough energy to uh, to make it. Mm -hmm. But it's broken as well very often. But the, the, the center one is, is the boss. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want to do anything different, change the domain or here? or? Well, I, I'd like to put some extra um, DC power on it. Okay. But it's from the Crocroft. Okay. I'm turning it up now. It should be maximum now. It does. Oh, there we go. Oh, I... The, the, it wasn't even on. It was not even... I, I, should, I, I plugged it in and now... So this is with the Crocroft on. You'd, I, I dial it back now to zero. Yeah. So it goes back to where he was now. Okay, mm -hmm. th this is okay, little other regime. Right? Now yeah. now start turning it up. There we go. So now we got it dancing around. It's more let I predicted it's more flat current now. Mm-hmm. And I, um, it's about 100 volts um, AC input now. So I'm going to have a look at the uh, movement down the bottom here. Look at this. Isn't that uh, this special? Is the one I, I look. What yes, I saw it just just a moment ago. This the the blue. It's eating, tentacles, but it's eating the black away. Yeah, here it, it it makes holes in the black. Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> so I'm going to adjust the exposure here, so that we can really see some. So that, that, yeah, there you can see the overall view here, and, and so you can actually see that this is the chamber on the outside. Okay, and so if I'm going to focus out, you can get a a really good idea of where we are in the world, as it were, here. Is it going to give us the focus there? All right, now, now I'm going to go down into the chamber and look at the bottom. And it's changed the mode here, hasn't it? Yeah, and you can see the, soft, it, the dirt is being eaten away here. Met, so we're going to dial this down so that we can focus on what the action down there. Yeah. where the, the, the plasmoid is eating now, it, this is what I, is very common. Now, this is what you can say, it's alive. I, I, I would like to zoom in on these spots. Yeah. These spots consist of more spots. Yes. It, it's a cluster of spots. And, and it's moving around very quickly and it's eating the material clean again. Mm -hmm. So it's eating something. And then after a while, when it's eaten, it's going somewhere else. 
So I'm going to change the change the so that this will get darker and I will lower the F. This will give us a smaller depth of field, but a higher something is more than up. It's very interesting to see. I don't know why what is happening, but it's like some no, th those lines are because of the no, the camera no, specifics now. Something. Yeah, right. I need to just adjust it so that that doesn't become an artifact. So this is darker because I'm adjusting the sp the camera specifics. So I've got the one thousand. It's at one one thousand two hundred and fiftieth and f four point five. So this should be tightly focused at that bottom area there. And I need to adjust it so that we can bring that into full focus. Now I can I can honestly say I don't feel good right now. So in this mode, it's it's doing something different. It's not good for my brain. Yeah, I can I can feel something in this mode, which I couldn't feel without the Cockroach Fulton. Well, it's doing a different process. Yeah. Now you can see it was dirty. Now it's yeah. clean. So it did something. Yeah. And where is the energy? Where is the matter? Where is everything going? So maybe it uh, creates something what mm -hmm. you don't feel uh, so comfortable about. Yeah. Now it's eating it, the, the dirt away from the here. You can see it again. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this so it's not quite so. Uh, Switch one of one transformer now, so the current is going back a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, two and a half amps, 100 volts, and you can see the 1 320th, 1 400th of a second on F6.3. With an exposure compensation of minus two. And <laughs> stop doing something else somewhere else. Yeah, we did not choose this regime. Here we go. It's chosen in itself. Right? Yeah. The, the spinning again. It's between the tungsten cleaning up the mess it's made before. It could be there is some oxygen ox oxide stuff Maybe. created because there was residual air in there. We have to pump a li little bit more. Mm -hmm. So maybe uh, the chemistry of these uh, of this dirt changed in the meantime because we left this alone for how many, how many hours? Mm -hmm. uh, a while. Yeah. Yeah, a while. So maybe the residual air that came in because the tank is still not 100% closed. Change the chemical. Uh, okay, we're getting we're getting the more strandy type blue blobs. So you can imagine those blue blobs are actually inside that tunnel at that point. 
Ya. Alright, you see sparks flying off. Mm -hmm. Switch to the uh, anode here. Now the brass part is also getting a little. Old. There's a, a more stable domain now here, but there's this moving around inside. Oh, now it's gone. Hold on, it just went quickly to the uh, going on the tungsten there. It was starting to illuminate the tungsten. There we go. Uh, it's it's starting to flick into another mode nearly. There you go. Starting to hit the tungsten hard. For the record, the pressure is now 5.25 millibar. And in the beginning of this uh, this session, it was it started about 10 millibar. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go over down and back onto the. Uh, Rather. It will be very interesting to see this blue spot, what's in in the blue spot, because it's not a spot, it's a spot made out of spots, and it's not. Yeah. Um, it's, it's close to each other, but it's not uh, a regular form. No, it's like a little snake, isn't it? No, it's not a snake. It's No, I mean, it's like a squiggle. Yeah, and that's what I was seeing in the images yesterday. Now here it's really moving around in that occluded area, isn't it? Between yeah, underneath the knee. And that's what I mean. It's hiding. It's, it's hiding. literally hiding. Yeah. Exactly. Now it's dancing around it. But sometimes it go comes out of hiding because some there is something more interesting outside of it. Mm -hmm. It likes to go in this hole as well. It's really got a, like some squiggles going on there, isn't it? Yeah. Wee squiggly. But when I see it with, with when you see it with your uh, bare eyes, mm -hmm. you can see uh, little bright spots in one of these squiggles. Mm -hmm. So it consists of more of them. It looks like a cluster, um, yeah. a cluster of uh, columbic explosions. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we had this twinkle. Uh, I don't know what, what it's maybe maybe the stru structure blows up and the contents kind of move out in various directions and and continue could, the death. <laughs> could be, yeah. It really is hiding under there right now, isn't it? If I pull out, you can see it's got this quite nice stable and domain. It's, and it's eating all the dirt now mm -hmm. around it. Oh, it's it, it had a bit of a. An attraction to that bit down there, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, when there's another piece of dirt, it likes to hide under that little piece of dirt. <laughs> it's all, it's, um, in that sense, it's very predictable. But why it chooses it for some reason to be on a spot what it didn't see before, mm -hmm. it's absolutely amazing. It's Sometimes. going right the way in there, isn't it? It's saying, Hello! Yeah. <laughs> Look at that! It's so cool! <laughs> so cool! Oh dear. Now, just to show the point that if I actually change the exposure on this so that you're going down to the human eye kind of scale this is the kind of human eye and if i zoom in on that you'll be able to see kind of rough, roughly what the human eye would see when it's looking through the chamber if we go up here it's hiding but it's it's more like a ball dancing around and hiding you're not seeing into what that ball is made of and again if you look at the the anode here it's more of a glow 
So we go back down to where the hiding is going on. It's just kind of like a glow. But if we then dial that up to the one four hundredth of a second, and I have to come out to do that, um, I'll come up to one four hundredth of a second like we were just a moment ago. This is when you start to see when it's working. <laughs> The dancing, the little squiggly bits, you start to see it break down the, uh, I think uh, we're going to have a little bit more cranked up power here. Yeah. So, yep, here it goes. So, we, we go back to our little dance here. One amp extra. Well, it seems to be that it's the food is gone, so I predict it will jump over to the uh, the other pipes. One moment, but well, it can take a long time as well. But you can see that you need more currents in this case to uh, ignite the. Um, uh, the tungsten. I could do some hydrogen. Well, or do you want to put some CF in there? What you like. <laughs> oh. It almost blew up. <laughs> um, I have to switch. The yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Adding some sea air. Whoa, hello. Zoom out to see what's happening. Yeah. It's gone on to the top now. So with the C app, it's completely doing a different thing. I have C app left in the balloon, so I will. So well, leave it like this for a minute. Let's see what it does. It might consume the gas that it has, and well, is C app is a chemical solution. It's a chemical gas. Mm -hmm. The plasma will rip it apart. Yeah, and then it'll be carbon and fluorine. But fluorine is a. It is 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 it the gas? Fluorine's a gas. So now there's fluorine in the tank. Mm -hmm. The carbon is uh, is gone. I put butane in the tank before, and then I get maybe ten double layers all over the tank and then after a while it breaks down plasma will break the chemical structure down well it's really doing something interesting here it's starting to it's really taking an interest in whatever that is which is a bit of the uh, brass or something on the ground probably it seems to be Lying there, it's like the same. Like a, it's like a little seahorse, a dragon, or something. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. Well, the plasma has to uh, has the um, effect to blow up brass structures into porous material. And this is what it looks like. It's, it's kind of blown up, and you see the rest of the. The bolt in the in the on the anode it's also strange. It's not not the bolt anymore. Let's do a lot a little bit CF. Let let's see what's happening. Whoa, sparks flew. C 
sparks. Uh, I have to get a little. Now I have to pump again because I can hear. Yeah. The um, adding gas, maybe residual air coming in because there's still a little leak. But there's a lot of sparks going on now, which we weren't seeing at all before. Whoa! Hold on a minute. Oh, this also happens when you're on the end of, let's say, uh, this moment when there is too much air in the tank. Mm -hmm. uh, the plasma becomes stronger. Uh, the discharges or whatever becomes stronger and more of these debris will be seen. Or whatever it is. I'm going to brighten this up. Give an idea. I'm going to make this how more like you would see with your eyes. So this mm -hmm. kind of thing. It is a, a big bloom. So. So that's nearly game over for me. Well, I'm going to take a few high high speed photography. Well, a little hydrogen maybe for the film. Um, yeah, maybe. Let's let's see. I can. Uh... Ready. Mhm. Mm and there we go. A little bit of hydrogen and. We have the structures forming here. It is striking what happens when you do that. That's why I like hydrogen. Yeah. So I'm going to adjust this so that we can look into the plasma. And we're going to do that and we're going to do this take that to say one four hundredth of a second and change that back a bit we we it seems that it's blowing off the the dirt Maybe, yeah. Yep, e. And then I'm curious what trajectory it takes. And what's interesting, the dirt has been growing like something onto the, mm -hmm. you know, it's a whole thick layer. So one thousand, one, three, thousand two hundred two hundred of a second and f 2.8 so this the glitchiness there is actually to do with the sampling on the camera because it's not a global shutter and at this kind of specification it's really stretching what it can do even with this incredible camera Okay, so I'm going to come out of that and go the other way. And 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just take some high speed photography um, maybe with a little bit more light Really got a lot of growth. I would expect this is uh, some. I don't know. Is it is it is it carbide tungsten carbide? Is it uh, probably, tungsten oxide? It's probably negative ions being attracted to the anode and just clustering there. It for me, it's just a crystallization type of process or whatever. But mm -hmm. it's really lumpy. <laughs> yeah, well, then this is always the, pay the problem with an anode, that it gets dirty also. Mm -hmm. It's blown up, isn't it? But this is really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's really dirty. It's like a piece of coral. Yeah, this is, uh, to be honest, new for me. So I'm very curious what, what it looks like under the microscope mm -hmm. or even further on. It's a lovely image though, isn't it? Oh dear, what a pleasure. Yeah, indeed. What, it's always a pleasure to uh, <laughs> to hang around the tank and see what's <laughs> what it's see. doing. Yeah. Sometimes it's boring, you walk away, you come back an hour so, later. What, what did it do whilst I was away? Yeah. Why did it get like that? Now it's like we started this experiment it's still in, uh, it's in the same place yeah yeah and i've seen it all over the place but now it doesn't want to go look at that it's like a screensaver <laughs> <laughs> what do you have this, this is a, as long as as long as you're not epileptic for those people that are epileptic out there please look away i'm sorry this wasn't intentional <laughs> oh, that's lovely look at that so the pressure's going down, I guess. So it's changing mode. Yeah, I do. Oh, that would be nice. Yes, <laughs> we're basically done. I, I, my, my alarm's gone off. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's some cold fries now. Food. Let's 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 go and have something to eat. Let me just switch this over to camera mode, uh, film mode, and I will take a quick shot. Really? Um, mm -hmm. Yep. That's okay. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes it doesn't matter. But the transformer gets 100 degrees now and then, so you can smell it. Yes. But you can smell the tank also because the temperature has gone up to 96.4 mm -hmm. degrees on the bottom. And you have to feel the tank. You have to feel it. Yeah, it's warm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel it. Yeah, it's lovely. You have to touch. Was that? The, was that the? Uh, yeah. yeah. Touch the tank. You have to touch the tank. It, the proof is it's safe. You're still here. 
I'm still here, <laughs> at least for now. Well, I'm, if it, I don't go soon, I'll be st stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll become a feature in his dungeon. <laughs> Look at that, it's lovely going over there, isn't it? I, I, I take some chains and... Uh, yeah, no, I wasn't serious, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't an offer. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Look at that, that's lovely. Now it's eating, but on a different place. Yeah. Now my pipes will be clean soon. <laughs> I think uh, we'll leave it on there for a minute. Oh. It's going in. It's going deeper in that mm. hole, mm. and I. So it's it's creating its uh, its home. But it's two iron pipes, so it's not that it has to that it can consume very much inside there. No. Okay.
Yeah. What have we got? Oh, it's settled down a bit. It's more of a... Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a nice uh, thing up here. Now it's not yellow anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Pick, pick up your stuff. See you next video.